Uh, our region is uh, near East and North Africa. It is uh, one of the driest regions in the world. It is known mainly for uh, water scarcity. Climate change effects are also very, very important in the, in the region. And this, of course, has an uh, impact on uh, family farmers. Because uh, for agriculture, it is common knowledge that uh, uh, water is a key ingredient for, for production. So this region, as, as we said, is uh, subject to water scarcity, to climate change effects, heat, poor soils. In addition, there are also socioeconomic constraints in this region. As you know, also there is uh, a series of uh, conflicts in, in the region that affects also the, the economies of, of the countries, uh, affects uh, the prospects for employment, we have effects of uh, migration. So these are just some of the key constraints, but uh, the region really struggles with all these constraints on, on, and their effects on uh, small-scale family farmers. All the work that FAO is doing in, in the region is, is focusing on farming farms. It's not just uh, the, the regional initiative I'm going to describe a little more in detail, but uh, we basically helping the countries, I mean, as founders in, in the whole work, to uh, develop their, uh, their policies and their strategies to tackle uh, the key issues of, of, of food and agriculture in regions. Now we are, uh, of course, uh, working with the countries uh, for uh, the 2030 agenda on the sustainable development goals, I mean, like old regions. So uh, hunger, poverty, natural resource management, all these uh, important goals for the SDGs are also uh, the focus of our work in the region. Uh, more specifically, we have uh, three main regional initiatives in uh, North Africa and the Near East. Uh, the first one is on water scarcity, because as uh, described before, water scarcity is a key issue. So we have a regional initiative on water scarcity, trying to find solutions and policies and all that for that. Uh, the second regional initiative is on small scale family farming. That's the one we're dealing with here in this uh, uh, decade event. And the third one is dealing with food security and resilience, and uh, also focusing on some of the countries, for example, that are subject to uh, conflicts and issues of migration and all that. I think the launch of this uh, UN decade of family farmers is, uh, is uh, timely, and it's a good opportunity to uh, put back on track in the agenda the, all the issues and the priorities for small-scale family farming. Uh, not only in our region, but globally, but more specifically for our region, as we are looking forward in the next decade, we, uh, the work with FAO and its partners, need to look at uh, new ways for achieving the SDGs, as we mentioned. Because when we're saying the the 2030 agenda, it's basically 11 years or 12 years that, that are left. And we have to achieve those important targets. And this is a key, a very important challenge. So I think one of the most important aspects of this decade is uh, to find ways how to help the countries and the small scale farmers in the region. Uh, to uh, move forward and to achieve some of those targets. We can look at actually at, at, uh, at the uh, action plan that has been launched here these days. Uh, a lot of those uh, priorities in the action plan are also relevant to our region and we have now to look specifically in, in, in all those uh, priorities and see how we can implement that on the ground. Uh, for instance, I can give some examples. The productivity of uh, agriculture, especially in smallholder farming, it's still very low. And it's still, as I mentioned earlier, uh, dependent on climatic changes and water scarcity. So we need to find new ways and new innovations 
not only technology, but also policies and institutional innovations to help those farmers to increase their productivity and their livelihood. So this will be one of the important focus uh, looking forward to this decade. The importance of communication uh, relates to, first of all, to raising the awareness. Because uh, uh, we know that, uh, that uh, agriculture and farming uh, food systems, agri-food systems, uh, in our region and also globally, uh, is produced mainly by small-scale family farms. This is a very important point and we need to communicate this and keep make, raising the awareness about this point, that these are the people who are producing our food in the future. And we need to give them that credit and we need to give them that attention. And also to look at some of the key challenges that they're facing on, on a daily basis. Uh, the whole region now in these uh, uh, issues about uh, rural and urban relationships. We, we get issues of migration, for instance. We have issues of urbanization, people moving from the rural areas to, to uh, urban areas. Communication can be very important here also to raise the awareness about the issues. Uh, why, for instance, the youth uh, in this region are leaving from rural areas going to the cities? Can we find new ways? Not when we say communication, we also have to innovate there. For instance, one key area of how can we use and how can we uh, harness all the digital innovation tools and the communication ways for uh, integrating or for opening new avenues for the youth in, in these countries. And I think this can uh, generate some impact, not only on the farmers, but also on the whole societies in the region.